Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate QuickBooks with WordPress. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at QuickBooks or log in to our existing account. Once we do that, we can go to the left sidebar and check for apps and look for WordPress. Sadly, we won't be able to find uh, any direct integration between QuickBooks and WordPress so we have to use a third-party app. Let's go to automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And let's go to the top side of your screen and choose integrations. Now let's go to the bottom left part and click on see all categories. Now we can search from 200 and more apps, but we want to start with QuickBooks like this. And now we have to choose the counterpart, which will be WordPress. As you can see, automate.io is providing us with some uh, pre-made uh, integrations, but if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, keep scrolling down and you can get to create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to start with, uh, uh, with uh, QuickBooks first. So pick from one of those options. On the right side underneath the actions, you want to go scroll down and start or pick between WordPress uh, between two options from WordPress. So let's stick to the first one as well. Now you just hit the try it now button and you'll get redirected and ask to log in to automate.io and you're all a few clicks away from finishing your integration. Uh, we can also use zapier.com, which is a very similar app to automate, and uh, we also need to create an account here. And go to the top left side and click on create zap once we click on create zap we can also name it on the left uh, top left side so let's go like uh, quickbooks uh, to wordpress for example and uh, let's begin the integration it works basically the same way like automate uh, at the trigger, we want to start with uh, QuickBooks, like this. Uh, we have to pick the trigger event. It's not as many, but also, but still plenty. Like it is at Automate, we hit Continue. And now we have to log into the account that we created. We hit Continue, and now we can test the trigger. Second action, as you probably thought, is WordPress. We also have to choose an event, so let's, with, let's go with the create post. And the last thing is, you have to sign in to WordPress. So that's about it, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.